Introduction. Are eggs healthy? There are quite a few reasons why you should be consuming two to four eggs every single day. Now the egg is really considered a perfect food, not just a perfect protein. It's low carb, higher fat, and high quality moderate protein. Out of all the proteins, I'm talking about beef, chicken, fish, lamb, pork. All these other proteins are muscle protein. An egg is a completely different type of protein. It's the most bioavailable of all proteins, the most efficient protein when you're digesting it, getting the least amount of waste, which then turns into glucose. So, out of all the different proteins you can eat, definitely eggs rank number one. Not to mention, eggs have a complete profile of essential amino acids. So today, I'm going to talk about the benefits of eggs, but primarily for your skin and your hair. I'm also going to cover some data on whether you should eat raw eggs or cooked eggs. I'll talk about allergies and a couple of other points. So let's start from the top. Egg whites versus egg yolks. Believe it or not, the protein in the egg is not just in the egg white. It's also in an egg yolk. In fact, there's more protein in the yolk than there is in the white if you do a comparison of equal value as far as weight goes. So, if you're just eating egg whites, you're missing out not only on additional protein, but also on a lot of other nutrients. The egg yolk is super concentrated in fat-soluble vitamins, which really support the skin, and especially your hair. It's really difficult to find foods that have the active form of vitamin A retinol, but egg yolk is at the top of the list. Vitamin A is really important in skin health. If you're deficient, your skin is going to be rough and dry. Vitamin A is also very important for your eyes, as well as your sinuses and the immune system, among many other additional things. Now, one point about vitamin A that's interesting. In the definitions of vitamin A, they include beta-carotene, which is a precursor of vitamin A, to be vitamin A when in fact, it's really a precursor. It's not retinol. So, when we're talking about all the benefits of vitamin A, we're talking about the bioavailable form, retinol, not beta-carotene. Now, vitamin D is also in eggs. Out of all the vitamins, vitamin D is right at the top of the list as far as the importance for the skin. If you're deficient in vitamin D, you can have everything from rashes, to sun sensitivity, to sunspots, to psoriasis. All sorts of problems occur in the skin if you're deficient in vitamin D. And also, you'll have more inflammation and more acne. As far as vitamin D and foods in general, it's not very easy to find vitamin D foods. But eggs are one of the foods that actually contain vitamin D. All right, vitamin E, is that important for your skin? You better believe it. It protects the skin against UV radiation. It helps break down scarring. It acts as a powerful antioxidant for the skin as well as internally. Then we have vitamin K1 and vitamin K2. Eggs are loaded with choline, which is a nutrient that prevents a fatty liver from occurring. It also is essential for brain and nerve health, which includes keeping your mood high and also improving your memory. Eggs also contain a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids, another great thing for your skin, as well as a good anti-inflammatory. Eggs also are loaded with lecithin, the antidote to cholesterol. So if you're concerned about cholesterol eating eggs, you don't have to be concerned. Eggs will increase your HDL, and if there's any extra cholesterol in your body, lecithin will help counter that excess cholesterol. Choline as well, eggs are loaded with B vitamins, especially B2, B3, B12, and biotin, which is good for the hair. Now, since we're on the topic of biotin, I should go right to this right here. Raw eggs. What's my thought about eating raw eggs? Now, here's the thing. In the egg yolk, there is this compound called avidin, and avidin binds with biotin, making it unavailable for you to absorb. So if you consume a lot of eggs over a long period of time, you'll probably become deficient in biotin, and that can affect your hair. But you would have to consume a lot of raw eggs over a long period of time. The other point I want to make about raw eggs is there's enzyme inhibitors, okay? So potentially it could inhibit the digestion of proteins. I think a little bit of raw eggs would be fine, but I wouldn't do a large amount over a long period of time. Now, what about the point of getting salmonella in raw eggs? Well, the odds of you getting salmonella are 1 in 30,000. You'd have to consume 5 eggs a day for about 15 years before there's a chance of getting salmonella. 
Salmonella comes from sick chickens, chickens that have an altered microbiome. But if you're consuming the eggs that I recommend, which are not commercial eggs, okay? I'm recommending pasture-raised organic eggs. The chance of you getting salmonella is much, much less than winning the Virginia lottery. So now I also run into this word pasteurized, okay? You have pasteurized and pastured, okay? Two different words here. They do sometimes have pasteurized eggs at the grocery store. Now what does that mean? Well, since there might be a chance of getting some microbial infection on the surface of the egg, okay, the shell like salmonella, they pasteurize the egg. They heat it up to a certain degree. Not to cook the inside of the egg, but just to heat up the outside to sterilize the eggs. So when you see pasteurized eggs, that's really what's occurring. Now when you have pastured eggs, we're talking about chickens that roam around on different pastures being able to eat bugs and worms and grass. This is the type of egg that you want. Now, when someone has an allergy to egg, it's to the egg white, okay, not the yolk. So if you do have an egg allergy, what you could do is just eat the yolks, okay? That way you can get some protein. You also can get the benefit of all these things I'm talking about right here. Another point that people bring up when they talk about raw eggs is that they don't want to cook the egg because they don't want oxidized cholesterol. Well, you're not going to get oxidized cholesterol if you even scramble an egg. You would get oxidized cholesterol if you were to take this egg and put it through a high pressure device through small little particles, okay? That's how you're going to get oxidized cholesterol. There is a good amount of minerals in eggs. There's potassium, there's magnesium, there's also iodine, another very important trace mineral that is not in a lot of foods, but it's in eggs, and selenium, which is very important for your thyroid in converting T4 to T3. The other cool thing that's in eggs is these carotenoids. Carotenoids include hundreds of different compounds. These are two powerhouses, lutein and zeaxanthin, okay? So both of these